All right, so I'm going to be just doing a quick video on this. Um, this is a MacBook Air, I believe, model A1932, I think 2019 model. Um, so YouTube is kind of punishing me for not uploading enough videos. So, I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure I've already opened up one of these and showed everything. Uh, this one had liquid damage, so I'm just going to do a quick open up. Or I guess maybe it's the new year, so maybe... Google's policy changed for how they pay for ads or whatever. Um, but anyways, we're going to open this up and just take a quick look inside. I'm pretty sure this model, nothing's going to be upgradable. I don't think even the SSD is removable on this model. Um, if I remember correctly, no SSD, no RAM. And I think the only thing you can do is change out the power button, maybe? But uh, or actually, you can change the screen on this model if you can get the part. It's kind of expensive, but yeah, other parts are kind of not as nice to replace. So let's pop this open. I think I did a screen replacement on this model not too long ago. All right, so anyways, we're removing all the screws, try and keep them in order. The back screws are the longest, but either way, um, it's a good idea. It's a good practice to always put the same screw back where you took it from. Even if these are all the same, you want this screw to go here, this screw to go here. You don't want to put this screw over here and here and here. Yeah, because you can get some issues. All right, anyways, once you remove all the screws, lift up the cover on the back just like this, okay? And then you don't want to pop it too quick, so I usually like to slide my finger down the side to pop it up just like that. Okay, and then just pull it up slowly just in case you don't want to risk ripping anything out. Okay, so they said liquid damage right now. From a quick look under here, I don't really see anything. So somebody must have opened this. This cable looks like it was ripped or something. That's not good. Um, but yeah, all right. Anyways, yeah, I did do a video of this to replace the screen. So you'll probably want to watch that one. But anyways, the first thing you usually want to do is remove the battery connector. So the battery connector is under here. I'm kind of doing something that I shouldn't. I'm using a metal tool to lift up stuff. But anyways, peel up this adhesive a little bit so that you can get access to this. Um, let me zoom in so you can get a better look. Usually you want to use plastic tools or your fingernails or something so that you don't get like anything shorted out. So here you can see there's a raised lip here. So what you want to do, I just move my fingernail from left to right, kind of pulling on it slightly. And then you can pull the connector out just like that, okay? And then what you want to do, pull the connector out, make sure it's not connected anymore, just like that, okay? And then after you remove the battery, you want to press and hold the power button to drain any power to the computer. All right, hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. All right, after you do that, there's this little gold button here. Excuse me. And then what you want to do, oh, I'm accidentally locking the focus, I don't want that. All right, turn that off. All right, anyways, what you want to do, that little gold button, you want to press and hold it. I just use my fingernail. You can use like a toothpick or something, but yeah, I just use my fingernail. You'll feel it click in and then just press and hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. That should drain any power that's left in the computer. Um, so I'm not really going to do too much with this one. I kind of just wanted to take a quick look, see what's inside. Um, so far, it looks okay. Maybe I should actually disconnect and remove the whole logic board on this model. I think I did that on another one as well, but uh, I guess I'll do that for this one since it's liquid damage. Um, somebody did, again, open that and it looks like they damaged it. Hopefully it'll still work, but um, yeah, I'm wondering if this is the reason why it's not working. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to use... I think we're going to need T4 and T5 screws, screwdrivers, okay? So actually, I think a T3, so... Okay, so I'm going to remove all the T5 bits first, if there are any. So, okay, this is a T5, so I'm removing the one from there. Alright, again, I try and keep all my screws in order. So, 
whichever ones, um, wherever I take it out, I like to put it in a pattern on my desk so that I can make sure I put it back in the same spot that I took it out from, okay? So that's why it takes a while for me to take the screws out and then put them somewhere. All right, well, actually, I need to tell my customer because I told them if it's like a um, more costly repair that I'd let them know. So I'll do that. And then if they agree to having me open all the thing up and take it apart, then I will do that. All right. So I'll be back most likely. If I'm not back, then hopefully this video helped you at least so you can see how to disconnect the battery and stuff. And yeah, like, subscribe, help others find my videos. Thank you for watching. And we'll see if I come back. If I do come back, I will make like stitch the videos together, hopefully. All right, see you in another one. Bye. All right, I'm back. So it turns out I did see the liquid damage. So there's some residue here that little circle I don't think should be there and then this part's a little bit darker you can't really see it that well on camera and then towards the top is also like darker but I'll take it out and show you so to remove this you want to use a uh, pentalobe or not a pentalobe a t3 screwdriver okay so I'm going to remove these two screws here and then we're going to take out this metal bracket and set it aside Okay, once you remove that bracket, you can go underneath here. I just use my fingernail and then I pop this up just like that. Okay, since we already removed the two screws here, you can actually pull this back and out. And here you can see the charge, oops, sorry. The charge ports are actually like burnt up. So sometimes if you're lucky, these things are just corroded and we just need to clean it off and it'll start working. To do that, I just scrub it with warm water and then I use rubbing alcohol to kind of clean off the extra water and dry it off with an air with an air blower. So I use an electric air blower. So here you can see this is also kind of white and crusty here. Okay, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside and then we're gonna go ahead and remove all this other stuff so I can check underneath this board because this part of the board I don't know if you can tell it's slightly different color that's from the liquid residue so you can see there's like a shiny bit like right up along the edge there and that's from the liquid residue usually it's like sugar that that got left over from when it dried up all right so i'm switching back to the t5 screwdriver i'm going to remove all these screws that hold the board down Okay, again, I'm trying to keep all the screws in order so I can put them back the same place that I got them from. Okay, remove this one. Okay, again, try and keep all the screws in order. You want to put them back exactly where you got them from. You don't want to just guess and check what, like, put random screws in random spots because you can damage things that way. Okay, I think that's all the T5 screws I need to remove. There might be one underneath the battery here. Is that T5? Yes, it is. Okay, so now we got all the T5 screws out. We're gonna switch back, turn that off. All right, switch back to the T3 screwdriver. Okay, and then we're gonna remove the connectors for the wireless antenna. So I showed how to do this on the video where I completely removed the screen as well. So again, if anything's unclear, um, try watching my other videos uh, because they do help. Like everything people ask me where I learned all of this and I learned all of this from practice, just looking at things, trying to figure out how things fit together. Um, yeah, it takes once you kind of work on enough stuff, you kind of figure out how everything fits together. Anyways, these wireless antennas, you just kind of go underneath and then pull them up. I use my fingernails. You can use whatever tweezers or something to just pull underneath and pull it from the tail. Don't pull from the front. Don't try and pry those out or you can damage the connections. All right. Then we got this short cable here. Um, I don't remember what that's for. I think that's actually the fan connector here. Okay, so you peel this back. There's this plastic thing. Peel that back. Actually, let me zoom in if I can. 
hopefully it's clearer now. And then there's the little latch there, just like every other model. Flip that latch up, and then you should be able to pull the connector back. Um, I'm going to try and pull from back here, because if I peel this, most likely the um, adhesive is just going to peel off. So let's see if I can get underneath. I'm going to try and use this little plastic pokey stick tool. That might help. All right, so getting a tool like this. And then when you get underneath, I kind of push, squeeze the two, squish, squish it down against that tool, and then I try and pull it back. So let's see if I can do that. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so there you go. We got that disconnected. Okay. Let's see, what else do we need to remove? Let's remove this trackpad connector. So again, I don't know, somebody worked on it. Apparently they bought this refurbished, so that's probably what happened. Yeah, whoever refurbished it probably didn't do that great of a job. All right, so we'll take out those two screws, remove the little metal bracket, and then just pop this up just like the other ones. Just get underneath and then just pop it up, all right? And you want to be careful because that connector is connected underneath somewhere. So you don't want to just yank it up. All right. Then you got this here. So this connector, you can use like a, oops, sorry, the speaker. So you can use a thin little tool like this. And then you kind of, there's an adhesive. So you kind of have to work it up. All right. You don't want to use metal tools for this. You want to use plastic if you can. All right, and then once you can work it all the way to where you're close to the connector itself under there, then you can kind of pry it up that way, okay? I'm getting another call. I guess I'll be back, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so speaker disconnected, and then we disconnected the trackpad cable. All right, so... I think that's all other than this cable here which is for the power button so for this as well you just flip that little latch up let me zoom in all right flip the latch up just like every other one like this once you flip that latch up you can disconnect this cable it does help to have like a little thin tool to slide under here so that you can kind of pinch underneath and then pull it but once you get it bowed up like that you can probably just grab it like this Okay, let's see here, just like that, and then wiggle this back. Okay, there we go. So now that we got that out, there is another T5 screw hidden underneath there. Oh man. Okay, of course they'd hide another one. All right, so make sure you remove that screw as well. Make sure I got all of them. Okay, and then this, yeah. All right, so hopefully that's the last screw. All right, so now we're going to have to lift this board up. You want to be gentle because there are things connected all over. Move the speaker. Oops, let me zoom out. Okay, so I like to start from this side because I can actually get my finger there. And then just move the speaker cable out of the way. Slowly lift it. Make sure you get all these cables out of the way as you slowly lift. Oh, that reminds me, we also have to disconnect the LCD cable here. So we need the T3 screwdriver back. Sorry, I'm forgetting stuff. All right. So remove that one screw there. Then remove the other screw in this corner here. Okay. Then take that metal plate off. All right, get it out of the way. And then you just pop up this part. All right, there we go. And now we should be able to lift it, hopefully. All right, lift slowly. All right, because you wanna make sure if you missed anything, it'll get caught and then you can move it out of the way. The wireless antennas will kind of be slightly in the way, so you kind of have to move it around. There we go. And now we got the board out. So here you can see, um, there's a little bit of liquid residue that got onto this corner here. Um, not that visible, but the board, other than that, looks okay. So I'm going to clean this off with some warm water. Try and keep all the uh, water to where the spill went. I don't want to get it on the rest of it. 
and then I'm just gonna use the air blower, dry it off, use some rubbing alcohol, clean it up some more, and then dry it off completely. And then the last thing is this, hopefully they didn't fry this too much because they were trying to plug it in. So hopefully after I clean this all up, it's gonna work, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean that off and I'll see you guys in a bit. We'll see if it works. I'll show how to reassemble this. All right, bye. All right, so now we're going to reassemble it. Okay, so same way we took it out, you wanna put it back. So this side first, okay. You wanna make sure that the cables that um, are all on top, so right now the trackpad cables underneath, you wanna make sure to pull that on top. Okay, make sure the speaker cable ends up on top. Drop it in place. Okay, make sure all the screw things line up. Okay. Might be a little tricky, so we clean this off. I don't know if you can tell, it's still burnt, so it might not work. But all the residue here is gone. Okay. I'm just gonna try and line it up. Okay, this is a T3. Okay, so let's put back the T5 screws first so that we can make sure everything is lined up properly. The T5 screwdriver, lift that up. So I like to just loosely put the screws first. All right, so this screw and then this screw. Okay. All right. The other one. All right, grab this big one. And I like to just put them loosely first. Make sure everything, that way you can make sure everything is lined up properly. Okay, just like that. All right, you can push back down the speaker connector here. All right, I'm gonna put back the charge ports. Line it up, click it back down. Make sure to get it lined up. You might have to kind of push it over a little bit. Here we go. T5 screws. Make sure it's pushed in all the way and lined up. In. Make sure those are tightened down so they don't move around. All right, now we just gotta put back the rest of the screws or tighten them down. Okay. Just make sure everything is tightened down properly. One. Okay, now that we've got everything tightened down, make sure to push back in all these little connectors. Okay, trackpad cable. We're always going to do the battery last, okay? Alright, power button switch board. All right. You kind of have to wiggle this a little bit to make sure it goes in all the way, and then put that latch down. And the fan connector here, just like that. I pull, I pull on the thing, and then I use my fingernail to push the connector to keep it down against the board. Pull it in all the way. Put that latch down. Sorry if my head's getting in the way, but I need to see what I'm doing. All right, the wireless antennas. Just line them up. Make sure when they're lined up, they stay in place. If you kind of try and move them. That's how you know that they're lined up properly. Okay, oops. It's a little trickier with these shorter ones. Okay, just like that. This connector, make sure it's lined up as well. There we go. 
video cable. Don't forget that one. There we go. All right, so now we need to reattach everything. So we're going to switch to the T3 bit. Put the LCD cable first. See what I'm doing, so my head's gonna be in the way. There we go. Okay, tighten that down. All right, we got the trackpad cable cover. I always like to loosely put the screws in first so that way I can make sure everything's lined up before I tighten it down. All right. And then the wireless antenna board cover. for the charge ports. Lift it up, tighten it down a little. Another one. Alright, tighten it down. There we go. All right, so we got everything in. We just need to put the battery connector back in. So this one, kind of just pull it back. All right, get it back in the slot. Just like that. Slide it in. Use my thumb and push that in. Okay. So we'll see. Hopefully the liquid didn't completely kill it. If the charge ports are dead, which they probably are, then it's probably still not going to turn on, but we'll find out. I might have to get a replacement of that first. So let's get the, charge port, the charger cable. All right, and let's plug it in and see what happens. Okay, so far nothing. Trackpad's not responding. Oh, actually, trackpad's responding right now. So it's turning on, I think. It feels like it's turning on. Is anything going to show on the screen? Oh, without being plugged in, it's completely dead. Let's try this one. This trackpad's not doing anything at all. Okay. I start driving your car now? Yep. Okay. okay, let's flip the charger over. Nope, that one's dead. So, this one at least partially responded earlier. Hmm, nope, it's dead. Let's flip it over again. Hmm, guess I spoke too soon. Actually, okay, it's clicking now. So I'm going to leave this plugged in here and see if it's going to charge up because it's actually... The trackpad is waking up while it's plugged in. Oh, there we go. So it's turning on. So most likely I'm going to have to just replace the charge ports um, because it looks like only one is working and it has to be flipped a certain way. So I'm going to wait, make sure it boots up completely. Okay. Hold on. Just move it forward and then... Oh, you mean for later? Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on Apple logo. Oh, it's working. Okay, so I don't want to show the screen, but there you go, or their username, but it is turning on. So yeah, it's better than before where nothing was happening. I'm going to hope that the battery charges up. It's at 0% right now. So I'm going to leave it plugged in on here 
and we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Just put back the bottom screws. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, like and subscribe. Uh, help others find my videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another one. Bye.